if you've been following this channel for some time, you know that I often preach against this made-up idea of a pre-tribulation rapture. There's nothing scriptural at all about it. Uh, there's nothing. There, there, you can't find it. And I, again, I'll say, put in the comments below if you got some scripture that says that it's before the tribulation. And the biggest argument that most people have for a pre-tribulation rapture is why would God put us through something like that? If he loves us, why would he put us through that? And I want to take a moment and say, who, who do you think you are? Do you deserve better than Jesus Christ? He said to pick up our cross and follow him. He was beaten almost to death and then nailed to a cross and mocked until he was dead. We are to follow that. That is a, So to suggest that somehow that I could just kick back in my lazy boy chair and watch Netflix and because I went to church on Sunday, I threw a few bucks on the plate that when things are going to get hard for humanity that somehow I'm going to get raptured out, it's preaching escapism. It's not preaching to pick up your cross and follow him. It's pre preaching escapism. So let's talk about the people that followed Jesus Christ. Because, yeah, he came to die. You might say, well, you know, Jesus came to die. Uh, that's what he came to do. So he was on mission. Okay, well, let's look at those who followed him. Well, let's start with uh, Matthew. Well, Matthew was killed by the sword uh, in Ethiopia. Uh, Luke was hanged in Greece. Uh, Mark was dragged by a horse until he was dead. John was put in boiling oil, and then finally cast off to the uh, mines in Patmos to work until he was dead. Uh, let's see, Peter was crucified upside down on an X-shaped cross, mostly because he thought that he didn't deserve the right to be killed like Jesus was. Uh, let's just keep going. James, the leader of the church, uh, was thrown uh, down a hundred foot wall, and he died that way. Uh, let's just keep going. Bartholomew was flayed to death. I mean, come on now. Uh, Andrew was crucified on an X-shaped cross. Thomas was stabbed with a spear. Jude was killed with arrows because he refused to denounce Jesus Christ. And I could go on and on. So I'm going to go back to the first question. Who do you think you are? If you are a true Christian, if you are really following Jesus Christ, you might not go through that, but you're expected to. You're expected to go through things like that. It is expected of you to pick up your cross and follow him. So to suggest that somehow you're just going to be magically sent through this escapism where you're rewarded for your escape, you didn't do anything hard, you did not pick up your cross and follow him. You did not take care of the least of these. Uh, it's, it's not easy to follow Jesus Christ. And to suggest that you're not going to go through the tribulation because it's not easy and God would not put you through something that's hard. Sounds like Satan's talking to you is what it sounds like. And it definitely sounds like Satan's talking to your pastor as well. So... Any thoughts or insight on any of that? You know, again, if you think you're so great that somehow you, you, you're better off than Jesus, you're better off than the disciples, like somehow God loves you more than Jesus and the disciples, I believe he loves you as much as he loves the disciples, but not more. <laughs> you're expected to pick up your cross and follow him. It is expected of you to be willing to lay down your life for him. Any insight on that, definitely put that below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.